Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, is a type of staph bacteria that does not respond to some antibiotics that are commonly used to treat staph infections. In 25% of healthy people, the staph germ lives on the skin or in the nasal passages, but it does not cause any problems or infections. If the staph bacteria enters a person's body through a cut, a sore, or while in the hospital or not, it may cause an infection. The infection can be minor or very serious, involving the heart, lungs, blood, or the bones. Serious infections are seen in hospitals and long-term care facilities, and in people who are receiving kidney dialysis or in cancer treatment. In the past, most staph infections responded to a group of antibiotics called beta-lactams. About 2% of people carry a strain of staph that is resistant to these antibiotics. Being resistant means that an antibiotic is unable to treat and cure an infection with this type of bacteria. Those who have been hospitalized or have had surgery within the past year are at increased risk. Staph skin infections cause a red, swollen, and painful area on the skin, and there may be drainage of pus or other fluids from the site. When patients get MRSA in healthcare facilities, the infections tend to be severe. These staph infections may be in the bloodstream, heart, lungs, urine, or at the site of a recent injury. Symptoms of these severe infections include chest pain, chills, cough, fatigue, fever, malaise, headache, muscle aches, and rash. Depending on your symptoms, your doctor may recommend a blood culture, culture from the infected site, culture of the drainage from the infection, and sputum and urine cultures. Draining the skin infection may be the only treatment needed for a local skin MRSA infection. This procedure should be done at a doctor's office. Do not try to pop open or drain the infection yourself. Keep any sore or wound covered. And if you're given antibiotics, be sure to take all of the doses, even if you feel better. Not finishing the full course of antibiotics at any time can allow an infection that seemed to be gone to come back really horribly. The best way to avoid MRSA is to keep your hands clean by washing them thoroughly with soap and water or using alcohol-based sanitizer. Also, keep cuts and scrapes clean and covered with a bandage until they heal. And if you are visiting someone with MRSA at a healthcare facility, you should avoid touching catheters or wound sites. Wash your hands before leaving an infected person's room. And one more thing. If you actually happen to be the patient, make sure all those doctors, nurses, and other health care providers wash their hands before examining you as well. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Bear with your Weekend House Call.